our next topic is the classification of materials on the basis of atomic structure first of all we will discuss about the atom of the element the atom of a element consists of two main parts first is the nucleus second is the extra nucleus nucleus the central part of the atom is known as nucleus it contains protons and neutrons the nucleus holds the entire mass of a atom the protons are positively charged particles while the neutrons are chargeless particles therefore the net charge on the nucleus remains positive extra nucleus the outermost part of a atom around the nucleus is known as extra nucleus it contains electrons only as the number of electrons is equal to number of protons so a atom is electrically neutral the number of electrons in any orbit is given by 2 n square where n is the number of orbits from nucleus for example first orbit has 2 1 square is equal to 2 electrons 1 mean n is equal to 1 second orbit has 2 2 square is equal to 8 electrons because the n is equal to 2 third orbit has 2 3 square is equal to 18 electrons so the value of n is equal to 3 now the classification of materials on the basis of their atomic structure first we will classify the conducting materials a substance whose atom has its outermost orbit incomplete such substance act as a good conductor of electricity for example copper aluminum first we will take a example of copper's atomic structure it is denoted by cu atomic number is 29 atomic weight is 64 as we know that in a atom the number of electron is equal to number of protons so the number of electrons in the copper is equal to atomic number is equal to 29 number of neutrons is equal to atomic weight minus atomic number means ke 64 is the atomic weight minus atomic number is 29 so number of neutron is equal to 35 number of electrons in k level is equal to means ke in first orbit 2 1 square is equal to 2 because the value of n is equal to 1 in the l level 2 2 square is equal to 8 n is equal to 2 in m level 2 into 3 square is equal to 18 value of n is equal to 3 in the n level number of electron is only 1 this is the atomic structure of the copper first orbit this it is the nucleus first orbit has two electrons two electrons second orbit has 8 electrons third orbit has 18 electrons and the outermost orbit has only one electron which is known as free electron or valence electron valence electrons those electrons which are loosely attached to the nucleus of the atom and can be easily detached now the second example of the conducting material is aluminum it is denoted by al atomic number is 13 atomic weight is 27 so the number of electrons is equal to atomic number is equal to 13 number of neutrons atomic weight minus atomic number 27 minus 13 is equal to 14 now the number of electrons in the each level or orbit is 
in k label 2 1 square is equal to 2 and is equal to 1 in n level number of electrons is 8 and is equal to 2 in m level number of electrons are 3 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 plus 3 total number of electrons 13 atomic structure of aluminium first orbit has 2 electrons second orbit has 8 electrons and outermost orbit is incomplete and having 3 free electrons there are 3 electrons valence on it now the semiconducting materials second are the semiconducting materials in semiconducting materials if a potential difference is applied across the ends of the material a partial flow of electrons takes place that is some of the electrons can be detached from the atom and some of them cannot be detached hence the conduction is partial therefore the properties of semiconductors are in between those of conductors and insulators examples of semiconducting materials are silicon and germanium now the atomic structure of silicon it is denoted by si atomic number is 14 atomic weight is 28 number of electrons is equal to 14 number of neutrons is equal to atomic weight minus number of protons or atomic number so number of atomic weight is 28 minus number atomic number is 14 so number of neutrons is equal to 14 now the number of electrons in each level in k level number of electrons are 2 because n is equal to 1 2 n square formula L level number of free electrons are 8 n is equal to 2 m level number of free electrons are 4 so in the first orbit we have two free electrons in second orbit we have eight in outermost orbit we have one two three four free electrons and it is partially filled so there are four valence electrons in its outermost orbit second example is the germanium it is denoted by ge atomic number is 32 atomic weight is 73 so the number of electrons is equal to 32 number of neutrons is equal to atomic weight minus atomic number 73 minus atomic number is 32 so number of neutrons is equal to 41 number of electrons in the k level is equal to 2 and is equal to 1 and l level number of free electrons are 8 and is equal to 2 in m level 2 into 3 square is equal to 18 where n is equal to 3 in the n level number of free electrons are 4 we are using a formula 2 n square so in the first orbit we have 2 free electrons in the second orbit we have 8 electrons in the third orbit we have 18 electrons and in the outermost orbit we have four electrons which is partially filled there are four valence electrons in its outermost orbit by applying a potential difference across its ends a partial flow of electrons takes place third type is the insulators in the insulating materials electrons are firmly held to their atom and if a potential difference is applied then a little or no electron flow occurs therefore no electrons can be detached from outermost orbit so it is not easy to pass the electric current through them we will take the example of neon atomic structure for insulating materials neon it is denoted by n e atomic number is 10 number of electrons is equal to atomic number is equal to 10 
so the number of electrons in k level is equal to 2 into 1 square is equal to 2 and is equal to 1 in l level 2 2 square is equal to 8 and is equal to 2 so in the first orbit in the atomic structure of neon we have two electrons and in the second orbit or outermost orbit we have the eight electrons which is completely filled its outermost orbit does not contain any free electrons as its outermost orbit is completely filled